welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about suppressors, and especially suppressing an AR-15 chambered in 223 or 5.56 NATO. If you are not aware, when you add a suppressor to this platform, you increase the gas pressure, which causes the bolt carrier group to move faster and harder against the system. This can cause things to break and also wear out things prematurely. Also, what you'll actually get is more gases toward the face, so you have two issues running a suppressor with supersonic ammo with the 5.56 and 223. So one way to help mitigate that issue or the issues is to run this Gemtech suppressor bolt system. What this actually does is it redirects the gases out the bolt, which keeps the gun cycling at a normal rate and also keeps the gases out of the shooter's face. So it's a really neat system, really easy to use. Again. If you leave this on unsuppressed, you can fire it like a normal AR-15 without any issues. And then when you put that suppressor on, you do have to remove it from the gun and switch it over to the suppressed mode and reinstall. And then when you fire, it operates just like if you didn't have a suppressor on. So any questions on this system, let me know. All right, really quick, I wanna go over this chart. So this chart will actually show you if you're running Overgassed, perfectly gassed, or undergassed. Um, if you look at the red section between the 12 and 3 o'clock, if your spent cartridges are landing in that area, you're overgassed. And typically, that's what happens when you run a suppressor because you're adding more pressure into the system. To get you to the 3 to 430 position where you want to be, that's where you run that Gemtech suppressor bolt carrier system. It redirects the gases out the bolt and get you back to a normal operating system. So this is one good thing to have to look at. It'll give you a good idea where you're at as far as your gas system. All right, thanks for watching.